Om Sum was sitting in a quiet park on a bright afternoon, absent-mindedly stretching his hands toward the sunlight. As he opened his palms, a strange tingling spread through his fingers. He blinked and looked closer. Where there were once five fingers, there were now more. Each hand had extra fingers, perfectly formed and moving naturally. Omsum wiggled them in surprise. They felt light, flexible, and completely under his control. Miraculously, Omsum had gained extra fingers on each hand. Omsum began testing them carefully. He picked up a pebble and noticed how easily he could grip it from many sides at once. He grabbed a ball and spun it easily without dropping it. When he tied his shoelaces, the knot formed faster than ever. He carried several small objects at once without anything slipping. Suddenly, the peaceful afternoon changed. Huh? Near the park entrance, a delivery truck stopped suddenly on a slope. Heavy boxes stacked at the back began sliding toward the edge. One box tipped over and started falling toward a child standing below. People nearby gasped and stepped back, unsure how to help in time. Amsum noticed the danger immediately. Without hesitation, he ran forward. As the box fell, Amsum reached out. Using all his extra fingers, he grabbed the box from many sides at once. His hands wrapped around it firmly. The box stopped mid-fall, and Amsum finally dropped it safely to the ground without hurting anyone. But the problem was not over. More boxes began sliding. Amsum moved quickly, using his many fingers to hold, push, and steady several boxes at the same time. Nothing slipped, nothing fell. The danger had passed. The child stepped away safely, and people nearby cheered loudly for their hero, Omsum. Hmm. Omsum woke up to a bright morning, ready for another fun day of exploring. But the moment he stepped onto the street, huh? something felt strange. The road beneath his feet wobbled like jelly. Before he could take another step, his sneakers began sinking. Huh? The entire road had turned into quicksand. The more he tried, faster he sank. Acting fast, he grabbed a long stick from a nearby garden and used it to pull himself onto the grass. Breathing hard, he looked around and saw that every road, street, and path had turned into endless rivers of quicksand. Amsum spotted an old skateboard in his garage and tied empty plastic bottles to the bottom to create a floating board. With a push, he began gliding over the dangerous roads. He wobbled and nearly fell in several times, his heart racing as he zigzagged between streetlights and mailboxes. As he traveled, Amsum noticed the city had turned into a maze. Cars were half sunk and people were trapped on rooftops or climbing trees for safety. Amsum knew he had to help. He remembered the toy shop downtown had inflatable rafts. Carefully steering his floating skateboard, he made his way toward the shop. A sudden breeze sent him crashing into a lamppost, and he clung to it as the board floated away. Thinking quickly, he swung himself onto a parked bus that was barely above the quicksand. From there, he leapt onto a delivery truck and finally reached the toy shop. Inside, he grabbed as many inflatable rafts as he could carry and threw them out to people nearby. One by one, they paddled to safety, cheering for Amsum's clever thinking. Hmm. Amsum was halfway through brushing his teeth when something very strange happened. His toothbrush slipped from his hand, but instead of falling to the floor, it floated right in front of his face. Amsum blinked, unsure whether he was dreaming or still waking up. He reached out to grab it, but as soon as he touched it, he began to rise. His feet left the ground, and before he knew it, Amsum was bouncing against the ceiling of his room. Gravity had vanished completely. At first, Amsum thought this might be the best thing ever. No gravity meant no falling, no scraped knees, no more having to carry his heavy school bag. He did a slow motion somersault in midair and giggled. But soon, things began to go from fun to frustrating. His cereal floated out of the bowl and started drifting all over the kitchen. The milk formed wobbly blobs that floated like jellyfish, splashing against the ceiling and sticking to the light fixtures. Outside, 
the world had turned into a floating mess. Trees, cars, mailboxes, and even the neighbor's dog were slowly drifting upwards. Birds flapped their wings in confusion, unable to steer properly. Amsum floated to the window, grabbing the curtain to anchor himself. The sky was filled with floating people, groceries, and backpacks. Aum Sum grabbed a balloon and tied it to his wrist, hoping it would somehow help. It didn't, huh? but it did keep him company as he bounced around like a helium balloon with bad aim. Then, just as suddenly as it had vanished, gravity returned. Aum Sum hit the floor with a soft thud and lay there for a moment, hugging the ground like it was an old friend. The world settled again.